Okay, here we are again. Um, what I want to say now is um, with these cheap Chinese good fun, this being the CP2, SMK CP2 in 177. Comes with a longer barrel as well, which gives it a bit more oomph, probably a bit more accuracy. Um, but 25 yards is a, like the maximum, despite what others do. I mean, they, they do convert them, they convert them to comp compressed air, high pressure air, as they call it, HPA. They, they put bottles on them, um, modify them extensively. Um, Power varies with the QB78 as well, the rifle, the bolt action rifle. Uh, it, you either get a good one, for every one good one, there's about 17 bad buggers about, and I've picked bad buggers. When they come, the barrels are filthy, full of Chinese grease. So the first thing you do is clean them. Then you spend uh, a fair time pushing pellets through them to um, lead the barrels up because they don't start to become accurate until they've they've had the lead work up up through the rifle in. Um, lead is soft. Lead is a lubricant. Um, it helps the pellet seat in the barrel, helps the rifle in spin the pellet. Um, yep, you can up the power on the, them quite easily uh, without going over the top. In fact, I can't get anywhere near the legal limit. Parts for them are very, very limited. Being a budget gun, I mean, both the CP2 and the QB78, I paid 160 quid each last year. Um, there's one or two spare parts, but um, there are several enthusiasts with an access to a lathe, etc. Um, quite talented, well, extremely talented engineers who come out with modifications to attach the um, high pressure air bottles. Uh, but is it worth it? You know, spending another couple of hundred quid, you could have uh, gone out and bought a better gun in the first place. But then even the better guns are having problems. We know there's a Swiss gun out at the moment. Uh, Comically called, the, whatever that means, a uh, couple of thousand pounds worth, and they got for the 12 foot pounds sub 12 foot pounds British market, they've had no end of problems. Um, Airgun Sniper Elite, he's, um, he's been trying to sort out a rifle for weeks. Probably six hundred pound rifle. He spent another two or three hundred on it. Changed everything. Magazine, the barrel, uh, putting a regulator on. It's a high pressure air one. Uh, getting a regulator put on it. The magazines weren't working. Uh, had a nightmare with it. He's got it sorted now, thankfully. Um, how he stuck with it, God only knows. Fair play to you, Mark. Oh yeah, the import duty now since um, 
Well, I presume because of COVID, a lot of stuff isn't being manufactured now. Um, the stuff coming from China, well, like um, a compressor to pump up your high pressure air guns was like 160 quid. He's gone up to like 199 now. And uh, to get it imported, carriage, etc., is another 200 quid. So that's 400 quid. Summit last year would have cost you 160. Um, hey, y'all. Lead is, is very short, apparently. There's a pellet shortage. Uh, luckily, I buy in bulk. Um, although I use them in bulk as well, I'll get through a few. Um, yeah, it's all going to go up, but then compared with um, compared with full bore firearms and what have you, I mean, a tin of pallets is so cheap. The CO2 cartridges are so cheap to keep them gassed up. The CO2 guns are only any good on like a guarding range, an indoor range, whatever. Now, I wouldn't recommend them, not that I do any, I wouldn't recommend them for um, for vermin shooting. Uh, not with the powers they put out and the, um, the inaccuracy of them. But, um, others will argue with that, but there you go. Uh, no, I don't shoot vermin. Um, I put rat traps out catch a few mouse traps around the sheds at the garden um, we got a business next door with rubbish bins um, they put poison down poison bait down um, we got cats etc sort it out uh, fortunately living in a village like this we get people moving from away uh, lovely village life, yeah, lovely village on the edge of Salisbury Plain, brilliant. Um, yeah, we grow our own eggs till they get a few chickens. A day or two later, the missus sees a rat. A rat, yeah. Um, a few days later, the chickens are gone. And they think the rats are gone as well, but there you go. Some people, eh? Never mind. Right. What shall I, um, oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's pretty much covered what we wanted to cover. Um, keep watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. For some reason, my video seem to be doing well in Portugal. Not doing so well down in the valleys. Oh, yo. Don't know what the reason for that is, but 